Welcome everyone. I'm ready to start envisioning on my veil painting composition what kind of a theme it might be. And so I've been looking at it from a distance and observing the shapes and the forms and seeing what arises in my mind. I think of this a lot like what I used to do when I was a child. I would look at the clouds and I would imagine if it looked like an elephant to me or a castle or whatever it was I saw. And once I had named it in my mind, I could really see the form in the clouds. I feel like that capacity is helping me to look at my paintings and see what might be there. And I'm going to paint a little bit on this picture so you can see what it might look like if I did. So let's start with this area right over here. This large red space that seems to be moving from the upper portion of the composition down in towards the center, really. And I'm going to accentuate that a little bit with the color that it already is, which is red. Again, I'm not going to mix up too heavy a color because that would be jarring. And I'll just start here in this gesture and I'll do the same gesture that's there but I'll just make it smaller than what it was. Maybe this is going to be a person. It might be. Could be languishing there in nature. And since it might be in nature, let's get some more yellow green down here. We have all this green back here. And I'll just accentuate the green with some yellow. I also like the yellow up here around the figure, so let's brighten out here. Now I want to be careful that my veils don't actually touch unless the previous veil is dry. That is one of the techniques that you have to remember. Otherwise you're just simply painting wet into wet, which is not the objective with veil painting. Okay, so let's go on here and look down here. I could also imagine another figure perhaps here in the front, a larger figure. Again, I'm just going to start with the movement that I see. I don't know what would be for head and chest. This is very crude now. But it's just color spaces because I may not end up seeing a figure here. I can decide that something else should be there. And in fact, if I am going to have these figures here, I'm going to have to pay a little bit of attention to the background here. I can almost see some kind of mountainous range appearing back there. Now what about this blue over here in the corner? It's very structural. By that I mean it has quite a bit of mass to it and it reaches up towards the green. So let's just accentuate that. Blue. And then it's going to say, okay, please bring blue somewhere else. That's what the picture will tell you. Balance me. This is a good beginning. And another way that I might work on a picture is to take 
a piece of plexiglass and put it right in front of the art itself. And then I take a heavier material such as a, a washed out acrylic. And I could actually paint on the spaces to see if I liked what I was doing before I made a commitment to it altogether. Now what I want you to do is observe this painting yourselves and in the comments, please leave what you might see in it. I might choose your idea because I like it so much. And also please subscribe and support me on my Patreon if you can at Awe Studio. Thank you.